Now let us discuss 26th problem from exercise 15.4 chapter 15. In the figure ABCD and AEFD or parallelograms prove that first thing PE is equal to FQ area of triangle APE is to area of triangle PFA is equal to area of triangle QFD is to area of triangle PFD and last area of triangle PEA is equal to area of triangle QFD now moving on to solution let us note on the given information that ABCD and AEFD or parallelograms here in order to prove the first thing let us consider both the triangles triangle AEP and triangle QFD in this both triangles AE will be equal to DF since AEDF is a parallelogram in parallelogram opposite sides will be equal and parallel and next angle APE will be equal to angle DQC here triangle APE will be equal to here angle APE will be equal to angle DQF since it is given that ABCD is a parallelogram in this parallelogram consider AB is parallel to CD and PQ as transversal then triangle APE and triangle DQ here angle APE will be equal to angle DQF since ABCD is a parallelogram in this consider AB is parallel to CD and PQ as transversal then angle APE and angle DQF will be the corresponding angles and next angle AEP will be equal to angle QFD since it is given that AEFD is a parallelogram in this consider AE is parallel to DF and EF as transversal then angle AEP and angle QFD are corresponding angles again therefore in these both triangles two angles and a corresponding side are equal therefore by angle angle side congruency we can say triangle AEP is congruent to triangle QFD this can also be written as triangle PEA is congruent to triangle QFD we know that when two triangles are congruent then their corresponding sides will be equal and corresponding angles will be equal and also area of both the triangles will be equal therefore here we can write area of triangle PEA will be equal to area of triangle QFD this is for the third proof from this we can also say that PE will be equal to the corresponding side FQ this is our first proof consider the third proof which has proved above that is area of triangle PEA is equal to area of triangle QFD this can also be written as area of triangle APE is equal to area of triangle QFD let this be as equation number one now join PD consider triangles triangle PFA and triangle PFD these two triangles lie between common parallels that is EF if these two lie between common parallels EF and AD but as PF is part of EF we can say that they lie between parallel lines 
PF is parallel to AD and common base for them is PF. We know that two triangles lying between two parallel lines and with the common base will have equal areas. Therefore, here we can say area of triangle PFA will be equal to area of triangle PFD. Let this be as equation number 2. Divide equation 1 by equation 2. Then we get area of triangle APE divided by area of triangle PFA is equal to area of triangle QFD divided by area of triangle PFD. Let this be written in the form of ratio. Then we get area of triangle APE is to area of triangle PFA is equal to area of triangle QFD is to area of triangle PFD. This is for the second proof.